Good Shepherd had a desire to expand their missions program and to do so, so they really had to see where all their workers lived. Randy and Nancy and, and Karina and Angela, they all came to Egypt in the spring of 1988. And they stayed with us for 10 days. And of course, we took them around everywhere. We prayed that God would do a work in their lives and they would really feel it and, and yeah, get it. So, and he did. One night, I think we had been down in the market again and we had seen these women in big black. And I think it was Nancy that woke up and was just weeping in the night over these women that were lost. And also the, the mosque call in the middle of the night. Those, those kind of things really, really impacted them. And I don't think that they were ever the same again. It was a wonderful time. And then when we lived in Cyprus, they came to visit us there too. And then Randy was a speaker at one of our conferences for our mission. Because, I mean, what can be better than sitting, talking, and discussing theology for a couple of hours every week? Actually, I remember a conversation I had with Nancy, too, and that was one day he said, you know, something is happening to us. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's because we're taking in so much of the Word, but something is happening to us on the inside. There are few people in life that you come across that deeply impact your life, but she did. Because it's like a you know, she got me. I felt like she, she understood because she was one of the few people on this end here in Oregon where we live now, live for many years, that had met me on the field, seen me in action out there, and also um, knew me from here. Yeah, there was a deep respect for one another, and I really, 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 really treasured all the times that I spent, got to spend with her. And I, I came away with the same thought every time. This was life-giving. And I got to cup, take a cup, her to chemotherapy a couple of times this last year, and it was, it was awesome just talking and talking and talking about life, about children, about families, about grandkids, and uh, missions, and God, and it was just really deep. Incredible spunkiness. Oh my goodness. This gal really had spunk and she was serious. She loved the Lord and it was a no-nonsense walk with Jesus. It was a, you know, she was just who she was. She just took everything that had to do with Jesus very seriously. She was 150 million percent behind Randy and everything he did and wrote. And they were a team. She was absolutely rock solid.